Hello, hello, and welcome back to another Bella Star reading. I'm going to be doing a celebrity reading for Haley Joel Osment today. Oh, I'm so excited for this one. I have been watching a playthrough of Kingdom Hearts 2, and I do plan to do my own playthrough of the game over on my gaming channel, Bella Star Gaming. The link is in my uh, description of the main channel here for all my other channels that I have going. And uh, yes, I'm so excited. I love Sora so much. And uh, Haley Joel Osment plays the voice of Sora. And so I felt called to do a reading for him. And yes, just to give a little background, I find it interesting. Um, this is just a fascinating concept I wanted to talk about before I get into the reading is the concept of fictional characters. And I've always had a belief that fictional characters do exist in some kind of reality like either they existed before the author or artist uh, taps into the energy of them to be able to bring forth that creation into our reality or that an author or creator creates a series and that the fans the fan base create love these characters so much they have a connection to these fictional characters and the worlds that they come in that they actually create the world in another reality that is just a fascinating concept to me and i have come across this to be actually accurate um starting with peter pan like i came across uh peter pan a few years ago and tinkerbell exists neverland exists it's like they're real places. They just exist in the energetic plane of existence. And from what I know of the story of Peter Pan, uh, I think it's James Berry uh, is the author and creator of Peter Pan. Um, so I believe he was inspired by these real places, these real energetic places. I mean, frankly speaking, it talks about astral projection. I mean, being able to fly during the night going to a different world where you never grow old uh, in the energetic worlds you can project how you want to look so you never age you can stay the same age as you want and then of course the sad part of it is you know peter pan and the lost boys um they are you know unfortunately children who died at a young age and they don't know any better and I mean hopefully they understand that they had passed away but um yeah it's like they retain their images as children or teens and they're over there on Neverland just living it up how they want to be boys be boys <laughs> and then of course the fairies there too uh Tinkerbell uh, I love Tinkerbell she's snarky I love her <laughs> snappy sassy love her but um with in regards to Kingdom Hearts, I just love the series so much. But this one, I feel it was more so the fans that created the world, created that reality. Um, because Disney has already existed with different worlds and their stories and things like that. Um, so Kingdom Hearts is its kind of own thing. It's like Final Fantasy and Disney combination. But uh, I found it fascinating, so I wanted to see if I could actually get in touch with Sora. And lo and behold, I visited Destiny Islands. I chose to go to the time frame after Kingdom Hearts 2, like when everyone um, returned to Destiny Islands together. Um, so I figured that would be the best time frame to actually communicate with Sora. So I visited there i landed on the little island that overlooked the sunset and sat on the papu tree and it was just so fascinating it's so fascinating but it was a different feel it felt like an imaginary uh, i don't want to say imaginary place it was a place created by the fans by the heart of the fans it that's what it is like compared to neverland neverland actually existed and then got created into our reality whereas the realm that i visited for kingdom hearts was created by the fans so that was the different feeling but yes sora does exist 
in any way, whether it was he existed before or the fans created him, is like he does exist. And I was so happy to meet him. He is such a sunshine boy. He is my son. But I know I, I'm a little rambling here, but it was just a fascinating experience that I went through and you know, it pertains to Haley Joel Osment because he is the voice of Sora. So now I'm going to get into the reading for him. So let's see. Here we go. Get the pictures up so you can see as well. All right. So for Haley Joel Osment, I was actually surprised to find out that he's the same age as me. He's an 88 baby. <laughs> uh, he is an Aries. Um, so he's got a lot of fire, a lot of passion. Um, what else for him? Uh, I always start off with personality to like just tap into their energy to see who, what kind of person they are, um, what their resonance is. Uh, he's a very go ha happy go lucky guy. Um, always got a smile on his face. Mm -hmm. He likes to play. I mean, it makes sense that he he would be a gamer too, like being a voice actor for a game character. <laughs> Um, so yes, I feel like he is a kid at heart. He definitely likes to see the lighter side of life. Um, not to take things too seriously. Yeah. Is there anything else about his personality that I should know? I'm not really getting anything too deep about him personality wise. Hmm. I'm guessing, like, for his career, like, um, he gets most of his success from being the voice actor for Sora, I feel, because that's a, still a long-lasting series um, that's going on. Uh, they're working on Kingdom Hearts 4 right now, so that would be interesting to see where the story goes for that. But, uh, yes, uh, he, he gets his success mostly from that series. Um, he does some side things like TV, uh, some other movies. I feel like he likes more so the comedy genres. Um, like I said, lighthearted. He doesn't like to take things too seriously, but he does like to do some serious stuff. I haven't seen a lot of his work. Like the first time that I got introduced to Haley Joel Osment was, um, was it The Sixth Sense? Yeah, that was the first time that I saw him. So I haven't really seen anything else other than that. I guess they just the other things he was in wasn't that successful. But yeah, I feel like his, his ma major success is through um, being the voice of Sora. So hopefully that series lasts a long time. <laughs> I will forever be a fan. I feel like he does like to do some serious stuff. Like, he does want to be taken seriously. Um, he does look for respect. I mean, everyone wants respect for what they do. Especially for their craft. For their artistry. Um, he does want to showcase different aspects to himself. Uh either through voice acting or any kind of other acting. Like, he wants to show that he can do a variety of things. Even though he does prefer um, comedies, uh, he does, like with everyone, he just wants respect, which he does deserve. Yes, he's a hard worker. A real hard worker. He, I feel he's done things right in the industry even if he hasn't gotten very very large success compared to a lot of uh, child star actors who grew up and uh, further their careers I feel like overall he's been in well currently maybe uh, I don't know in the past but currently he's in a very good headspace like he's doing very good for himself like overall like he's very balanced I feel with his emotions and his mental state um, I feel he's clean too like that's the thing with from what I hear about child stars they sometimes tend to um, 
you know, with the industry, it's not the safest for children. There are a lot of pedophilia things that go on and uh, drug use, you know, just mental abuse. And I don't feel, I feel like he was like sheltered. He was sheltered or protected by a guardian, whether his parents or someone else in the industry that looked after him. Um, yeah, so that's a very good thing. But yes, if he does get teased or like picked on, I feel like it might be just his his weight or something. Like that might be a criticism to some people, but you know that should not be something that to be criticized over. You know, people have their own issues. You know, yes, you want to strive to be healthy. But I feel he's healthy. He's doing the best he can. Yes. I guess in regards to health, he I feel like he may have been on the heavier side for a while, but I feel that he is trying to have a better regimen. It's always something to strive for, to be your best version. So I feel like in the past, maybe he did have some stresses, and maybe he stressed they have because of that. Because um, that happens a lot. That's very common for people. They tend to stress eat when they're under a lot of pressure, uh, usually through work or through, you know, some kind of pressure from outside of themselves. <laughs> or even if they put that pressure on themselves uh, with their own mind. Their own mind can be their worst enemy. Maybe that's what happened. <laughs> I think the criticisms, uh, certain criticisms got hard on him in the past and that made him stressy and now that he's on the mend, he's trying to find a better regimen and just to be healthy, be a better version of himself. Like I said, he's right now he's in a very good place, I feel. He's doing good prosperity-wise. Um, I feel like he's got a nice place. Like, I saw briefly in a profile, like, I just glanced over it really quickly on Wikipedia. <laughs> that uh, I think he's currently living in New York somewhere. Um, so I feel like he's settled there. He's He's got a nice place, a place to call home. Mm. And he does like to travel. I feel he travels out to L.A. quite a bit. Mostly L.A. If he does travel. And it's mostly for work. Mm -hmm. He's still a foodie. <laughs> He's a foodie, though. He loves food. And that's good, too, because I'm a foodie, too. <laughs> Is there anything else about him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I guess this one's pretty sure. I don't really, uh, not really getting too much anymore right now. But yeah, just that he's going to be successful, mostly with uh, his voice acting with Sora in the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Mm -hmm. Is there anything? I know some people are interested in celebrity love lives. It's like, is there anything about his love life? I don't. I, I'm really not 100% sure about this, but I feel he's just living a bachelor life. Like, he's, he might be seeing someone, but he's just, like, doing his own thing right now. But I can see him settling down maybe in his later, late 30s. Yeah, I can see that happening. Yeah. All right, well, I think that is all that I have for Haley Joel Osment. It was very interesting.
especially again just my love for Sora <laughs> had to get, pay homage to the voice actor yes <laughs> all right I'll take care everyone and I will see you next time bye bye